In this video, we're going to be taking a look at one of the most useful tools here in CorelDRAW X6, and that is our freehand pick tool. It's something that uh, does take a little getting used to and how, how exactly it works, but it's wildly useful when you're doing rhinestone design and making selections. So let me show you how this works and give you a little bit of an illustration here. So we're going to first just click anywhere here, and I'm just going to select like so. So everything inside that dotted line, which is the top three stones, and on the second row, the two stones to the left, to the right, those are all going to be selected, and I can change the color. Now this stone was not fully encompassed, right? Because our, our, our selection went through the middle of the stone, was not fully encompassed, so now only that stone is selected. All right, so by default, when you're making your selections with your freehand pick tool, only stones that are fully encompassed will be selected and you can modify. Now, let's show you another example. If you hold down the Alt key and click, watch what happens now. You see these three stones at an angle? They are not fully encompassed. However, because we held the Alt key down, they will be, be part of the selection and then we can change the color. Okay, So those are the two options. Fully encompassed, make your selection, change the color. So if we wanted to come in here and do some zebra striping, make your selection, change your color. Okay, And then come back in here, make another selection, whoops, change your color. Okay, So you could, you could you know, create some zebra stripes really easy just by making some selections. Now the other option uh, that you have is the same kind of thing where we're going to make stripes but we're going to add the alt option and so anything that this dotted line crosses over does not need to be fully encompassed it's just going to go ahead and select so alt key come along in here anything that that selection crossed over it's going to select and pick up so you can see you can create these weird patterns and what have you really really quick and easy Come back in here. We will uh, switch these back out to cyan. Okay, so that is how that freehand pick tool works. Now, what if we did something like this? Let me just go back in here and let's uh, let's change everything back to light cyan. So, what if I wanted to just select the perimeter stones? We do that quite a bit. Well, you can use your freehand pick tool, and you can come in here. And, and because I didn't use my Alt key, now I did fully encompass these two, so I'll hold my Shift key to get rid of those. But if, you're, if you get good with your freehand pick tool, watch this. I'm going to come up here and see that row is now selected. Same thing here. If you, if you select down here and then just come up, see how easy it is to grab that row it all all really determines on where you begin that first initial pick point see there I, i'm not fully encompassed just that top row and so it's really easy to grab just what we need but it really depends on where where your first pick point is we want to do the second row same thing okay so your first pick point it just makes it that much easier to be able to uh, make your selections. And then we'll go, see if I do it like that, then I have to be careful in that. But if I come back in here and that first pick point is where I need it to be, it makes it easier to change out the colors of the uh, shapes that you want to change out. So anyhow, you get the idea of how that works. Um, but that freehand pick tool is really, really quite useful. So definitely get comfortable with it and practice with it, and you'll be able to make and isolate your selections and your stones much, much easier using that freehand pick tool.